So here is a here is a thought worth reflecting on. We were all very impacted when Elon Musk demonstrated his new rocket that could literally land itself perfectly upon completion of its mission. And why was that so compelling, aside from the fact that it completely upended what we thought was possible with rockets? But the idea of taking off for the great unknown, the amount of explosive ferocity and the compressed power required to blast a rocket off into space is something that almost invites the idea that all must be left behind. You have to shed your skin. You have to die to who you were. You have to risk it all. There's a annihilation that accompanies the blasting off of a rocket. And of course, it sheds the pieces into the sea. It's like it leaves kind of destruction in its wake. Meanwhile, what Elon Musk has accomplished with his new rocket that against all of our intuition after blasting off into orbit returns to earth and elegantly lands itself it almost looks like a fucking video on rewind like it feels like a mind trick or like an illusion but in fact what it shows is that to accompany the surrender and the ecstasy of blasting off into the unknown, there must also be the intention and the discipline to make the return, right? From the perspective of kind of archetypal mythology, Joseph Campbell talks about answering the call to adventure, right? Taking the journey, risking it all, but deploying the discipline and the training, right? So that the training kicks into gear, right? To go through to go through the idea that aside from human beings needing to die and leave everything they know behind in order to discover new frontiers and transcend their limitations that there is an equally important capacity and responsibility to make the return Right, to not be destroyed in the process. Right? We need not be martyred for the cause of extending our reach and extending our boundaries. After the ecstasy, the laundry, right? Not just the trash in our wake. The idea of the rocket that blasts off and then returns elegantly is akin to what we must do with the circular economy with the environment, with sustainability, that we can expand the boundaries of what we are, that we can go forth and transcend and discover and all the wonderful justifications given by people who want to pierce the beyond. But it doesn't mean we have to destroy what came before in the process. That in fact, we don't have to play the finite game to win or lose or that for every winner there's a loser for every victory there have to be losses oh no that we can play the infinite game instead in which the purpose of the game is to keep the game going it is a sustainable game so anyway that was the reflection that i just had in response to thinking about how astonishing and amazing and counterintuitive this achievement of a rocket that Elon Musk has created that takes off and fuck, represents everything that is noble and amazing about humankind. But then with it is the sobering and responsible capacity to like take all of that blast off and then like bring it right back. After the mission, we land and we're back. We have something to give back. That, uh, yeah, that rocket taking off and landing is a great uh, metaphor for what we must do and what we can do when we 